mess at one off campus apartment in Uptown is getting better. But some students still can't even move in. That's right. We've been following what's happening at the Deacon for weeks, including leaks, water damage, and even unclean apartments. WCPO 9 News anchor Evan Miller keeps hearing from frustrated students and parents. So he's joining us here live from the newsroom. Evan, what's happening now? What's the latest? Uh, some real progress. And in fact, I just got an update minutes ago from UC. We'll get to that in a minute. We were the first to tell you that UC had actually taken over maintenance at the privately owned complex where its housing department does hold a block of apartments. UC says hallway floors will be done by the end of the month, but some students and parents tell me they still hadn't heard a clear timeline for when they got to move in. That'll be almost one month later than they were supposed to. The carpet was soggy. They ripped up all the floors. All the floors in my room were damaged and some of the floors in um, the, our hallway to get into the kitchen. Sophomore Grace Senna's roommates took this video to show her what her room looked like when they moved in. She never did, and she's been commuting from home on the west side. There's been a lot of tears when I first heard that it could take up to a month for my room to be ready. UC and property owner manager Yugo USA say leaks from the HVAC system right before move-in damaged apartments and crews got behind on maintenance. So UC took over temporarily after complaints at move-in. The pictures in the video you showed, those were things that, did those even have anything to do with the, the leaks and the things that had happened? A couple weeks ago, we showed you the glue exposed on hallway floors, holes in walls, some apartments never cleaned out after the last students moved out. One parent told us she found mold. The, the hardest part of all this for us is just the lack of communication. Nobody responds. They don't return messages. They don't respond to emails. Allison Hudak's sophomore daughter is now staying at a hotel until her apartment and room are ready. I'm really concerned that we're going to get the green light to move in, but not be given what I would feel like are adequate reassurances that everything is okay with the space. Grace Senna is about to find out. She says she thinks she can move in finally next week, but there are still problems. Other things in our apartment that don't even work, like the washing machine and stuff like that. And I'm concerned just because we've already put in so many requests for things to be fixed and they haven't. I'm concerned that it's just never going to happen. They should all get a chance to find out soon. As we came on the air at six tonight, UC told me the Deacon management's on track to have all students into their apartments by next Monday, the 12th. Some supply chain and inventory issues mean there have been some delays. Seven students in that UC block of apartments are still having repairs made. As we continue to hear from parents and students who are supposed to be living at the Deacon, we'll keep following up on this for you as we have now for weeks. Reporting live tonight, I'm Evan Milward, WCPO 9 News.